And this is our Western edition. Good evening. It began as an ordinary school day, and it was almost over when gunfire erupted this afternoon. This deadly mass shooting happened in Parkland, Florida, about 20 miles northwest of Fort Lauderdale at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, attended by about 3,000 students. A suspect was taken into custody about a mile from the scene. We're going to have much more on him in just a moment. We do have extensive coverage tonight, beginning with Manuel Bohorkas in Parkland. We do caution you, some of the video you're about to see is graphic. Manny? That's right, Jeff, and a law enforcement source tells CBS News the gunman appears to have pulled the school's fire alarm to create chaos and then began firing. Those who could ran, hiding in classrooms, even closets, while the shooting continued. Just as the school day was ending, the shooting started. This cell phone video captured the gunfire and the screams of the high school students trapped inside their classrooms. I'm coming out to the east side with the casualty and the ambulance standing by critical casualty. The sight of what's become an all too familiar panic of students fleeing hands raised in single file, only matched by the images of armed tactical police racing into the building looking for the gunman. From the air, emergency crews could be seen tending to the wounded, dressing their wounds. We're coming out with one injured person. He's shot. Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. We've had uh, approximately 14 people transported to area hospitals with varying degrees of injuries. The description of the subject is going to be a white male laughing, wearing a burgundy shirt. The sheriff says the alleged gunman was captured off campus. He was seen surrounded by police being placed into custody. There's the guy being put in the back of the car. He was taken into custody, I believe, about an hour after he left Stoneman Douglas after he commi committed this horrific, homicidal, detestable act. I don't know how we're alive. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School freshman Bruna Alivera says the gunman was just outside their door. For like 30 minutes, we were just like praying and crying and and then the police came and we just got out. <laughs> when the lockdown was over, distraught parents raced to the scene. Even more emotional teenagers relieved to be outside. School superintendent Robert Runcie. It's a horrific um, situation. Um, it's, just, it's just a horrible day for us. Late tonight, the school district announced it would be canceling all classes and school activities for the rest of the week. Some students are still being reunited with their parents even hours after the shooting because of the painstaking task of evacuating the high school and interviewing all witnesses while at the same time ensuring that no one else here poses a threat. Jeff? And so, right, Manny, so they have to get all the students, or they're trying to get all the students as much as they can into one place and then take them to a hotel and reunite them with the parents. That's exactly right. There was also a Walmart nearby where a lot of students ran to after the shooting. So reunifications with parents happening there right now. And another mother came up to me not too long ago asking how she could get a hold of the FBI because they were still interviewing her son. And she, of course, wanted to see him. All right. Uh, Manuel Bohorkas at the scene of this uh, shooting today in Parkland, Florida.